What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Warhammer video for you guys today and it is Battle of the Elves to prove who is the more superior race, the Dark Elves or the High Elves. So guys, we are in charge of the Dark Elves and rounding up our army we've got two units of Cold One Knights. You can see these guys here, these are going to be our cavalry. Going to be useful for getting into the back line of the Elves because you can see they've got quite a bit of archery sort of stuff over there. We also then have a couple of groups of Dread Spears. So these guys are going to be shielded anti-large just in case my opponent did bring anything large, which luckily for us he did. Uh, as well as that we've got a couple groups of Black Arc Corsairs. I believe there's three of them. Yep. You can see there, they're dual sword infantry. They're going to be pretty much for uh, plowing through any of the spearmen or swordsmen that my opponent brings. We then have three groups of the Dark Shards. So these guys are going to be shielded as well as providing fire and another group of Cold One Knights, which I said. And we've got a Knight Assassin as well. And over here on our dragon, we have Loki Felhart himself. Armored, armor piercing, causes terror, scaly skin. He's ready for a battle. He's ready to come in. He's ready to take on some enemy high elves. So for my opponent's army, they have a Star Dragon, which is a big threat. Also, they have the Swordmasters of Holoth. They've got two groups of those, White Lines of Trace, as well as the Storm Riders and a group of Archers. They also have a Frostheart Phoenix and a Great Eagle. And for leadership, they've got a Princess as well as a Noble. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the battle. Now, we also have a Reaper Bolt Thrower as well, I forgot to mention. But uh, we're pretty much just moving everything into range, and I love the look of Loki. Like, look at his dragon. It is absolutely terrifying. Much cooler looking than the star dragon. I gotta admit, the phoenix does look pretty cool, but you can see that the archers are now in range of our cold one knights, which we're kind of like, oh, we should probably move those. But these guys are anti-large as well, so we kind of want to keep them close to the main force of the army, just due to the fact that they will help us deal with the larger threats my opponent has brought. Now, we've started unloading our Reaper Bolt Thrower straight onto the star dragon. Trying to kite our enemy in to uh, fight us. Here you go. You can see here. Boom. Look at that. Popping the damage off. Boom. Boom. Pretty accurate there. So we've already gotten the dragon down to a little bit. Taking a bit of damage, which is pretty good. Cold War Knights are over here ready to go. But here we go. My opponent's moving their army in now. We're uh, still firing away. Trying to get their star dragon windled down. And you see that we are doing a decent amount of damage to it. But here come the archers and the storm riders. The Loth and Sea Guard. These guys are not to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't even remember it now. And there we go, look at that, taking on the Star Dragon. Star Dragon's leadership is starting to waver a little bit, which is great for us. So pretty much, here we go, we're going to send in our main force. The Phoenixes and the Great Eagle are coming around the side here, so we are keeping our Spearmen as well as the Cold Ones here, just for when they dive on us, because let's be real here, it is going to happen. And here we go. And there we go, White Lines of Trace smash into the Black Ark Corsairs. These guys are easily going to smash over the Black Ark Corsairs. I don't believe there's as many units as well. Um, yeah, but here we go. You can see the Great Eagle has landed into our Spearman, which is right where we wanted it to be. It's going to get taken out pretty quickly because of the anti-large our Spearman have. As well as that, we do have our Dark Shards targeting as well. Loki is battling the Phoenix up in the sky. And we've got some Spearmen here in reserve just in case for when it lands. So... Things are looking pretty good for us. We do get a waiver on the Cold War Knights because of the Star Dragon, but we're still unloading on it. The Knight Assassin is pumping Dark Venom, which is going to be really useful for taking on the Star Dragon. We do try to get him out of there so he doesn't face the White Lions, which is what we're trying to avoid. Avoid. Spearmen are going after the Star Dragon. There's still all this back here, but the Swordmasters are easily able to deal with the Dark Arc Corsairs. But here... We've got the Cold One Knights taking on the White Lions of Trace, and I guarantee you these ones will easily be able to take them out. So this battle's gone across multiple fronts of the field. We switched the Reaper Bolt Thrower over to the multiple... What's it called? The multiple thing where it fires multiple volleys at once, and that is proving pretty valuable for the archery. And you can see that our Cold One Knights are running away. This one doesn't even have a rider anymore. He's just like, screw you guys, I'm out of here. And he has just run. But uh, we should still be able to do quite a bit of damage to the dragon. They are um, rampaging, so it should be alright. I don't think we've done any extra damage. But our Reaper Bolt Thrower is firing. We do manage to take out the Phoenix. Loki Felhart is coming in, though, to try and finish off the Star Dragon. 
And there we go, we pop the Murderous Mastery, Murderous Prowess, sorry. And this is pretty much going to push us over the line for any of our infantry troops fighting. These guys are going to be able to take out pretty much what remains of the infantry. Look at that, a big Reaper Bolt throw through the Lothan Seaguard, through the Storm Riders. These guys are taking damage, and who are they popping off at? Who are they targeting? Are they just targeting... They're targeting our archers, so no biggie there. We do have plenty of archery. The Reaper Bolt Thrower, as long as this is going to keep popping off here, they're just going to get wiped out. We've got a Kanite Assassin over here. He's obstructed, we didn't even realize. But Loki Felhard is over here. He's taken on the Dragon. Dragon against Dragon. Let's see who's going to win this battle. I can guarantee you Loki will. And I think the Star Dragon has just been broken. Get him, Loki. But the... Yep, there we go. Star Dragon has just been killed. Loki is over here. We've got some Dreaded Knights over there, but they're pretty much out of the battle. They've still got their leadership, so we do send some Cold One Knights after her because she's just kind of chilling by herself. We're like, let's get a recharge on the Storm Riders as well as the Princess. So we managed to pull that off as well. The Phoenix is back into the battle. Knight Assassin is here. He's ready to finish her off, though. Let's just watch this one. Here we go. Frostheart Phoenix is coming after the Knight Assassin. Manages to get a strike on it. Luckily for us, one single uh, crossbow bolt should be enough. Look at that. Look at that little barrel roll, which was completely unnecessary. That was a little bit of a strike there. But the Phoenix is going to get taken out. Here comes Loki. He's had enough. He's like, get off my assassin and takes out the Phoenix in one fell swoop. So all that's pretty much left is the Noble and the Princess, as well as some white lines of Trace. But other than that, there's not really much else. The, uh, the Loth and Seaguard, the Storm Riders have been taken out. We've got a group of Cold Ones Knight and they're coming back. They're going to charge through these white lines, taking them out. Absolutely demolishing them. The seven of... Oh, these were actually Swordmasters, sorry. And uh, the princess is still going strong. I don't know who she's targeting. Are you just targeting the archers down there? It looks like it. Swordmasters of Hoth are coming onto this side. We pop a Noxious Breath over the top of them. Kind of just mowing through them. But uh, the Dark Art Corsairs are going to be recharged. And they are going to take quite a bit of damage from these Swordmasters. They will definitely pound through these guys. But the Loki Felhart is having none of it, and he is on top of this Noble, ready to deal some damage. Taking out the Noble. The Noble, he's putting up a fight. He's a melee specialist. He's anti-large. Probably not the best route for Loki, but he was already pretty low, and we did pop Deadly Onslaught, so that's given us extra damage as well. Um, but our enemy has also popped Deadly Onslaught as well as Foe Seeker, and the Princess is coming in to try and even this match out. So we're going to have to be careful here. Our Dark Shards are over there, but we do get our Cold One Knights in. And they do start rampaging, so they will start trying to deal some damage. But it looks like they're running after... They are going after the Noble. Good thing about using the Dragon on Loki is that the other two kind of just get bowled away. Every chance they get to attack, which is pretty good. So the Reaper Bolt Thrower, is that still functioning? I don't even know. Nope, we've just got units left. The Knight Assassin, he's firing at... The Princess, I believe, so he's managing to take her out. Swordmasters of Hoeth, they're easily going to shred through these guys here. I don't think there's anything we can really do unless we bring Loki in to fight him. But uh, we just kind of pull him up to pop another Noxious Breath just to shred through into the Princess. But we kind of hit our Reaper Bolt Thrower dudes, and they've taken some serious damage. There's corpses littered everywhere. Our Dark Shards are still popping off. They're going up against the Noble. The Noble's just about dead. He's on 100 health. He's served his purpose for the enemy army. Being terror routed now, they're shattered. All that's left is the princess, and she has just been shattered. The rest of their army has been shattered. Loki was in here, taking on the uh, Law Masters of Hoeth. And that's going to be it for my opponent. And uh, let's take a look at the overview. Let's take a look at what the damage was. The Reaper Bolt Thrower and our Cold One Knights definitely coming in. The MVPs here, taking it out. Their Star Dragon did a solid amount of damage, but their Law Sword Masters of Hoeth, whoo! They just ran through us. So guys, that's going to be it for this one today. Let me know what you guys thought of the video down below, whether or not you want to see more of these. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.